let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. In Libya, new reports of clashes in the country have surfaced. According to Libya's health ministry, at least 32 people have been killed and 159 injured in fighting between rival Libyan forces. The conflict occurred Saturday local time in the capital city of Tripoli and saw an exchange of explosions and gunfire rattle the city's residential areas. This marks the largest escalation of violence in the country in two years. The clashes came as UN-recognized GNU government forces battled a militia that recognizes Fatih Bashaga as prime minister. Bashaga has the support of Libya's parliament and says the GNU's mandate is over as it failed to hold elections originally slated for December last year. The country has been in turmoil since the NATO-supported ousting of Libya's former leader, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, in 2011. Unprecedented rain and flooding in Pakistan has left over 1,000 people dead over the last two months. That's according to officials on Sunday who say that of the 1,033 victims, 348 were children, while a further 1,527 people were injured. Meanwhile, Pakistan's Minister for Climate Change added that 33 million people have been impacted by the prolonged disaster. While Pakistan normally receives three to four cycles of rain during the monsoon season, the minister said it is now receiving its eighth. Pakistan's foreign minister called on the international community for financial aid to deal with the economic fallout, saying the scale of destruction was hard to describe. The disaster comes as the country was already looking at high inflation and a depreciating currency, amongst other economic challenges. A baseball card has gone under the hammer for a record-breaking sum. The Mickey Mantle baseball card in mint condition was sold through Heritage Auctions on Sunday for 12.6 million US dollars. The sum is the highest figure ever paid for a sports collectible. It was the result of the card's near-perfect condition and because of Mickey Mantle's prominence in the baseball world. This comes as the sports collectibles market has seen a surge in transactions, with many seeing them as an alternative to investments in real estate or Wall Street. Matthew Ashley, Arirang News.